question for you guys. Which monitor are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 4. Dell U2415 – Best Value Moving on, we have the Dell U2415. It's extremely versatile and can do anything including gaming, even though it isn't designed for those purposes. It is also one of the best monitors for professional media work, and at this price, it's more than you could want. On top of all this, the Dell U2415 is the best choice if you want a multi-monitor setup for the workplace. Thanks to its features, we'll check out in a moment. While we're at it, I should state that it delivers a cable management solution for a clean setup. The Vita mounting holes are also there for you. The stand provides plenty of ergonomic adjustments, including height, tilt, pivot, and swivel adjustment. On the back, you'll spot the connectivity options, which include the HDMI, Mini DP, DisplayPort, AUX port, and USB port, to deliver you plenty to play with. First off, I should state that this one is based around a 24-inch in-plane switching panel with a taller-than-normal aspect ratio of 16 to 10, which is better suited for productivity users. The resolution of the panel is 1920 by 1200 pixels, resulting in a pixel density of 94 ppi. The refresh rate is 60 Hz, the contrast ratio is 1000 to 1, and it delivers a great color performance, reproducing 99 of the sRGB and 77% of the Adobe RGB color space with great accuracy. One of the most impressive out there. Number 3. Dell U3818 DW – Best Ultra Wide Monitor this one is a very nice monitor with a very stylish design, beautiful display with amazing color accuracy, and with a great overall performance. It has many great features. The build quality is brilliant, and the selection of the ports on this one is pretty good too. If you're looking for a great monitor for programming, make sure that you see what Dell has to offer with this one. The screen is a bit curved, and it delivers a brilliant panoramic viewing experience. It also can multitask like a pro. It's a nice monitor for graphic designers, photo or video editors, content creators, and many more. It has a flicker-free screen with Comfort View, which filters harmful blue light emissions to optimize eye comfort. It has two HDMI ports, one USB-C connection, an audio line out, one display port, and also two upstream USB ports and two downstream USB ports, which are a great solution for connecting your Mac. Overall, it's a pretty great monitor with an amazing display, beautiful design, and great performance. It has many more great features that make this monitor perfect to use with your Mac. If you've already decided to buy a monitor for programming, then you should consider taking a look at the Dell U3818DW because it really doesn't disappoint. Number 2. BenQ PD2700U – Best Runner-Up Looking for a pro-level 4K monitor under $500, the BenQ PD2700U should be on your radar. It's sitting on my desk right now. Out of the box, it does a bright, sharp image as well as calibration that's good enough for most. The panel for the BenQ is a WLED IPS Edge Array. It features 10-bit tech through 8-bit plus FRC. This allows for 100% coverage of the sRGB space. In addition to accuracy, you also get great shifting angles as well as minimal color shifting. Overall, this is a great monitor for the price. For me, the color gamut coverage was good enough at this price range for an HDR monitor. If you need DCI-P3 coverage, USB connectivity, or a 144Hz refresh rate, you'll probably need to dip a bit more into your wallet. Cables include USB 3.0, HDMI, and DisplayPort, plus an IEC power cord to feed electrons to the internal power supply. The PD2700U's OSD has everything you'd expect in a professional monitor. There are eight picture modes, including presets for sRGB, the default, and Rec. 709, an HDR mode converts SDR material to the ST2084 luminance curve. Also designed for those specific tasks, users can split the screen and view two modes at once. Definitely a top-notch monitor for programming. Number 1. Dell U2720Q – Best Overall If ergonomics are important to you and you want something with a better stand, look into the Dell UltraSharp U2720Q. It doesn't have VRR support like the LG 27 UK 650W, but its stand offers a wide swivel range. It's very similar to the LG in terms of picture quality. It has a 4K 27-inch screen with excellent grey uniformity, wide viewing angles, and decent colour accuracy. It has a great coverage of the Adobe RGB colour space, which is ideal for photo editors, and it displays a wide colour gamut for HDR content. Unfortunately, it's not a great choice for darkroom viewing because it has a low contrast ratio, but this is expected from an IPS panel. 
On the other hand, it performs fairly well in bright rooms because it gets bright enough to combat glare, but it may struggle with direct sunlight on it. The Dell UltraSharp 27 4K USB-C monitor, or U2720Q, is a color-accurate 27-inch 4K display with good ergonomics, a solid port selection, and a slightly steep price tag. The U2720Q has a Visa Display HDR rating of Display HDR 400, the most basic level on Visa's HDR scale. It has several HDR settings – Display HDR, Movie HDR, and Game HDR. It's worth experimenting with them to see which you find the most pleasing. The Dell UltraSharp U2720Q is a good monitor for most uses. It's a great choice for any productivity task, as it provides enough screen real estate to have multiple windows open simultaneously. Its 4K resolution makes text and images look incredibly sharp. Buying Guide Refresh Rate This tells you the number of times your monitor updates with new information per second and is measured in Hertz. Bigger numbers equal better, smoother, less choppy images. Refresh rate is especially important for gamers who will want a monitor with at least 75 Hz. Most monitors designed for gaming offer at least 120 Hz. Combine this with the lowest response time you can find. If you're not gaming, a 60 Hz refresh rate should be okay. Response time Response time tells you how long a monitor takes to change individual pixels from black to white or if it's G2G -G response time from one shade of grey to another. Longer response times can mean motion blur when gaming or watching fast-paced videos. For gaming monitors, the highest response time you'll likely see is 5 milliseconds, while the fastest gaming monitors can have a 0.5 millisecond response time. Resolution After choosing the screen size of your next monitor, you should consider the resolution. The resolution of the screen refers to the number of pixels that are displayed at any given moment. The higher, the better, since it corresponds to more sharpness and detail. There are 1080p Full HD monitors, which are the most popular, especially in the budget range. You can also get 1440p monitors, which are better in terms of sharpness than the former. 4K is top of the crop, in my opinion, despite 5K and 8K monitors starting to circulate the market. But then again, a 4K monitor will be significantly more expensive than 1080p and 1440p resolution panels.